How many shares of Tesla stock do you need today to retire by 2030? update video that's right guys this is an update video on the first one i've ever made if you guys haven't watched it check it out but sheesh it did pretty darn well i think he got almost 250,000 views like sheesh that's absolutely insane but this tells me that there's a lot of investors out there who's going all in into tesla stock like i am so it makes absolutely sense why they would find this video very very intriguing and interesting but in this video we're going to do an update on that because you know it's been like seven eight months that i've done that video and a lot has changed for one we had a three for one stock split and we have more information on tesla on how they're going to end off this year it seems very promising and you know we're going to the flipping moon with tesla stock so that being said how many shares of tesla stock do you need now to retire by 2030 we're gonna find out in this video but before we do there's a few ways you guys can now support the channel you guys can now join the channel and unlock some cool perks like emojis and membership emblems next to your name as well as we got merch we got the go all in t-shirts sweaters mugs and i'm wearing one right now go all in yeah as well as a Discord coming soon. Comment down below if you guys are down if we had a Discord going on. I think that'd be pretty darn awesome. But anyways, guys, link of the merch in the description and link in the card in the corner. All right, enough to chatting now. Let's get down to the video. But first, have you smashed that like button, man? Come on. And the subscribe button? Come on, man. All right, let's go. All right, so before we get into the chart and number, there's a few things you gotta know. In the previous Tesla retirement video that I made, we said that by 2030, you need about $850,000 in cash to retire by 2030, so you can put that money in the S&P 500 and enjoy the 7% return annually up until, I don't know, for the next 35, 40 years. Well, in this video, we're gonna change that and be a little bit more realistic because I don't think $850,000 by 2030 is really enough, but just enough to get by. So in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of a modification to be a bit more, I guess, realistic, you can say. So let's do that first. Quickly going over it today, if you're living alone in like an apartment or a condo, we need about $3,200 a month to pay your bills and you know to get some groceries so pretty much living paycheck to paycheck not having any fun with your life you're just living to work that's it pay your bills get your groceries eat sleep repeat that's it now don't worry guys this is the base number that we're going to work with we're going to you know increase it as we go forward just hang on there thirty two hundred dollars monthly comes down to about over thirty eight thousand dollars annually which is like absolutely like sheesh you know like just 10 years ago this number was you know if you were making this much money you were well off, you were doing pretty darn well, but now, thanks to inflation, it's a nothing. But giving this $38,400 annually, or $3,200 monthly, a 5% inflation rate every single year, we get about $4,600 per month. I chose 5%, guys, because this year, inflation is just gonna, I think... We have a few more months to go with high inflation, and I think if we just go ahead and average this whole decade by the end of this decade, it'll be maybe around three and a half to four percent. But let's keep it more conservative and say five percent. That's why I put it as five percent. It's a wild decade, man. I'm telling you, like sheesh, it's pretty darn wild. But man, that's crazy. Thirty-two hundred bucks a month is now going to be worth forty-six hundred. I mean, thirty-two hundred dollars today for paying rent and living paycheck to paycheck is gonna be about forty-six hundred dollars by twenty. I mean, that's just insane, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. And that's why, folks, you never want to put your money in the savings account. It'll just be dried up just like that. Your money just going to be eaten away by inflation. That's why you get invested in the stock market, real estate, precious metals, even crypto, really. I mean, anything. Just cash is trash most of the time. It's only good when you're saving up to invest into something, but it's not good to save up to retire. A terrible idea so forty six hundred dollars a month adds up to about fifty five thousand dollars annually so shh, we went from thirty eight thousand dollars to fifty five thousand dollars the same thing all thanks to inflation at a five percent rate Sheesh. But you know what, guys? We don't want to live paycheck to paycheck, right? We want to, you know, retire. We want to have fun. We want to go travel a bit, you know, buy some toys here and there. So I slapped on another $1,000 to that, making it $56,000. Let's round it up to $6,000 for simplicity. So pretty much $72,000 annually you'll need by 2030 to retire, I guess you could say, just comfortably. Now, let's say you're getting tired holding stock in 2030 because it's just so volatile and you don't want to keep your money in a volatile stock because you don't know it goes up 20% one day crashes down 50% then goes up 100% 
Welcome to Tesla stock. That's what it does. But let's say you're getting tired of that. And let's say you decided to sell your entire Tesla stock position and you want to put it in the S&P 500, which gives about 8 to 10 percent return annually. But let's say 7 percent just to be safe. Some years can go down 10 percent. Some years can go up 30 percent and down 50 percent. But if we look at the 100 years of the S&P 500 history, it gives about 8 to 10 percent return annually. Now, the number that you need to pull out of Tesla stock to invest in the S&P 500 to, you know, live off of it for the next 40 years at a 7% rate needs to be around $1 million. Sheesh. Can we make a million dollars by 23 with Tesla stock? Whoa, we're going to find out soon. But that's flipping crazy, guys, man. A million dollars invested in the S&P 500, if it gives you a 7% return annually, you could live off that for about 40 plus years. I mean, that's just insane. That's bananas. But anywho, guys, now that we have our budget on a monthly basis and how much we need to live off of it for 2030 for the next 30, 40, 50 years, let's go find how many shares you need today to retire by 2030. You ready, man? Smash that like button if you haven't, man. Come on, man. Let's go. So here's a Tesla retirement chart. If you guys watched the first retirement Tesla video that I made, it's a major upgrade. As you guys can see, there's an ultra bear all the way to the ultra bull. In the first Tesla retirement video that I made, it was only a bear case to a bull case where the bear case was at 20 million vehicles delivered. And some of you guys were upset at that. They're like, oh, come on, be more bearish. I'm like, fine, I'll be more bearish. And that's why I have not only just a bear case, but an ultra bear case. So you're happy now? But a few things to note, guys. As you guys can see, ultra bear, 10 million vehicles delivered. Bear case, 15 million delivered. Then base case, 20 million. Bull case, 23 million. And ultra bull, 25 million vehicles delivered. Right off the bat, you guys may notice the FSD price is going to be around 30, almost 30K per vehicle. Some of you guys may say this is unrealistic, but look what the price is now. It's at 15,000 per one-time fee. So... We're saying by 2030, right, it's, it's going to be double. And we're only like seven years away from 2030. So I don't think this is unrealistic at all. 15% range for the vehicles with FSD in the thousands. So pretty much every vehicle that Tesla sells, 15% of it will have FSD that pays the one-time fee. Now, obviously, this needs to be updated, but there's no accurate number with Tesla that we can rely on at the moment. I know end of this year, they said that they're going to have a million robot taxis by year end. And we know that Tesla has about just a little bit over 3 million vehicles on the road so that's a 33 percent increase and that's just this year so it should be 33 percent not 15 percent but let's keep it conservative we get the total fsd sales and then the fsd profit margin which i put at 60 percent doing a little bit of research this confirms it so we get about 60 percent profit margin for fsd and that makes sense because it's just a software that you just sell to cars easy and then for the average vehicle sold by 2030 i put it at 30,000, even though it, it's more closely to around 35 40 000, but Keeping things conservative, we said thirty thousand dollars per each vehicle because we're gonna assume that they're gonna have the you know the Model Two or the thirty thousand, twenty five thousand vehicle car that everyone can afford. That's the only way that they can scale up to about twenty million vehicles that they want to sell. Their goal by twenty thirty. So keeping at 30,000. We got the total revenues, as you guys can see here for all of them. What's surprising about this is that in my other Tesla stock price video by 2030, we do hit about a trillion dollars in revenue. But because this is a different formula and trying to keep things a lot more conservative, we don't even hit a trillion by 2030, even with the 25 million vehicles sold and with FSD. So that's kind of surprising, but the net income is absolutely insane. As you guys can see, 110 billion on the ultra bear case, which is absolutely insane, to the ultra bull case, almost reaching one third of a trillion dollars. So that's absolutely insane. Note guys, for the net income, I said that they're gonna make 25% for every vehicle they sold. So I'm going on a 25% basis, which most likely it'll be 30%. But let's keep it a bit more conservative and let's say 25%. For the shares outstanding, I said that from now till 2030, they're going to dilute 2%. Even though that's not going to happen, I think in the next couple of years or so, they're going to do a buyback program and we will never see 3.6 or 3.7 billion shares outstanding. It's just not going to happen. But keeping things conservative, I even added here as well. And as you guys can see, the EPS is here too. And I gave it all a PE of 35, which some of you guys may say it's silly by 2030. But then keep in mind, guys, this is only the vehicle and a little bit of FSD. There's no Tesla bot, no RoboTaxi, no insurance, Tesla insurance, no energy output, none of that. It's just vehicles and FSD. That's it. If you guys want to see the full breakdown of that, a Tesla stock price prediction that includes all of it, check it out. It's pretty darn interesting. So now we got to move on to the stock price. If you guys are ready, man, if you guys are ready to see what the stock price could be by 2030 from the ultra bull case, 
to the ultra bear case smash that like button man why haven't you smashed that like button come on man all right let's go all right for the ultra bear case with the pe of 35 we get a stock price of 1068 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching four trillion dollars so technically on the bear case even on the bear case where they deliver 10 million vehicles by 2030 it's gonna 4x a bit more than that from what the price is now so that's insane that's just insane now let's see what the bear case has in store for us if we sell 15 million vehicles we get a stock price just a little over 1600 bucks per share and a market cap over almost at 5.9 trillion dollars sheesh now the base case where you know they said that they're gonna do 20 million vehicles this is gonna be darn interesting with a p of 35 we get a stock price of 2136 and a market cap over 7.8 trillion dollars so that's insane like if they do 20 million vehicles as they say by 2030 which personally i think is going to be delayed for a couple years i think they're going to probably do 16 17 maybe 18 million by 2030 but let's say they do 20 million by 2030 that's about at 8 to 9 x already that's insane that's absolutely crazy sheesh moving on to the bull case if they do 23 million vehicles with a 35 pe we get a stock price of 24.56 and a market cap hitting over nine trillion dollars like that's absolutely crazy like, sheesh and the ultra bull case which i don't think this is going to happen by 2030 but hey we're just playing around with some numbers let's see what we can get from this with a pe of 35 we get a stock price of 26.70 and a market cap almost hitting 10 trillion dollars like that's insane that's insane so right off the bat, guys, I don't think Ultra Barrack is going to happen, nor do I think Ultra Bull is going to happen. So it's literally narrowed down to 15, 20, and 23. I'll tell you guys what I think at the end of this video, what I think possibly could happen by year end. Now, the juicy part, the moment that we've all been waiting for. How many shares do you need today to reach that $1 million mark by 2030 so you can take that money out and put in the S&P 500, which by the way, I wouldn't recommend that. I would just continue to hold Tesla, but we're just keeping things simple and safe. But let's get down to it. Let's see how many shares you need today so you guys can retire by 2030. And don't forget to smash that like button. All right, let's go. In the ultra bear case, given the fact that the stock price today is 270 bucks per share, you need about 936 shares right now. I mean, that's a lot of money. That comes down to a quarter of a million dollars. I mean... <laughs> Sheesh. But again, this is the ultra bear case. I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, come on, guys. 10 million vehicles delivered by 2030. I mean, come on. It's going to be a lot more than that. But anywho, moving on to the bear case, which I put 15 million vehicles delivered. The shares that's needed today to reach that 1 million mark out of 15 million vehicles delivered, we need about 624 shares today, which that would be about almost $170,000, which again, it's not pocket change, I mean, but it's a whole lot better than the quarter of a million dollars invested that you need by the Ultra Bear case. So 168,000, not bad, not bad at all. Moving on to the base case, let's say they do do 20 million vehicles, they do deliver that much. The shares you need now in that scenario, we need about 468 bucks per share, which is valued about over $126,000. I mean, hey, better than 168,000, right? And sheesh, just look at it. From Ultra Bear, we went down from 936 to 468, like almost halving it. So nice and we're not even done yet let's go see what the bull case says if we do sell 23 million vehicles in this scenario we need about 407 shares today which that comes to a price of almost $110,000 so that's not bad that's actually really good that, that's doable if you guys can be disciplined strict with your money put it into a nice account where you can't touch it so you can't play with it it's doable it really is I mean if I can do it guys you guys can do it too you just gotta be disciplined with your money that's all Easier said than done, but it's very, very doable, very possible. Now, the ultra bull, which again, I don't believe that's going to happen, but maybe the stock price could happen if we add in the other things, like, you know, the robo, -Robo taxi, the Tesla bot, Tesla insurance, energy, you know, all those things. Maybe the stock price could be this, if we add everything else but let's stick with this scenario and let's see what we get the amount of shares needed now in this scenario is about 375 bucks per share and that's valued over just about hundred and one thousand dollars so sheesh look at that we went down from quarter of a million all the way to hundred and one thousand dollars let me know what you guys stand comment down below which scenario you guys think is going to play out the most i'm curious to know but if you guys are curious to know what I think, well, buckle up because it's going to get interesting. Let's rule out a few things first. Ultra Bear and Ultra Bull, it's not going to happen. 
I don't think it's gonna happen. Now we're just left with the bear base and bull case. What I think is, well, again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I don't think they're gonna hit 20 million by 2030. I think it's gonna be delayed for about a year or two because there's gonna be unexpected shutdowns, lockdowns in China. There's gonna be a bit slowdowns in other countries. Nothing is ever perfect. But I also don't think we're gonna reach 15 million by 2030. I'm thinking somewhere in between. 17.5 is what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and change the 20 million to 17.5 and let's see what we get ah there we go we get a stock price of 1869 net income almost reaching 200 billion dollars and a market cap almost reaching 7 billion like sheesh that's insane the shares needed now is about 535 bucks per share on the average of 270 bucks that comes to a value amount of over 144 thousand dollars again that's not pocket change <laughs> it's not pocket change at all but as I mentioned earlier, it's doable if you guys commit yourself, be strict with your money, and just have patience, man. The best thing to do in the stock market is patience. If you bought Apple 15 years ago and did nothing, when you bought at the peak of 2008 and you ride it out, and then you rode it out in the 2020 crash, you would be up like 15x and you didn't have to do anything, nothing. That's investing, guys, that's investing. You invest in a company that you believe in that's gonna do great in the long term. And then when a recession hits or these massive red days like there are today, those days are just a buying opportunity. I've done quite a bit of buying in the past couple of days and most likely the stock price will go lower. Check out the video if you guys haven't to see how low I think it's gonna go. But I really think in the short to medium term, Tesla, not just Tesla, the whole stock market is gonna take a hit. The macro environment sucks interest rates, wars. It's just not a good time right now. But these are the days for opportunity. These are the times to buy your favorite stocks. Don't let your emotion of fear get to you because in the next five years from now, 10 years from now, you're gonna look at Tesla stock price today and go like, wow, it was really at 270 bucks per share. Come on. And you, and you would feel terrible that you didn't buy some shares. But again, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I just do my research and I know Tesla's gonna do amazing in the next 10 years. And that being said, I'm going all in into Tesla stock. 90% of my entire portfolio is Tesla stock because I think it's the most risk-adjusted stock and the, probably the most safest stock you can buy now. One major thing that I wanna point out that some of you guys are not seeing is that the Russian economy right now is taking a big, big dive. Those existing companies in Russia are taking a big hit whether they're leaving or they're not getting enough business or they're just not performing well at all. Well, Tesla never entered the Russian market in the first place. And because with all these gas prices up, all these oil prices up, Tesla is trying to remove us from this to sustainable energy, to the power wall, to the mega packs, you know, to all these renewable energy sources that Tesla is providing everybody. We can live off the grid. We don't have to live off the gas or oil anymore. We just need the sun and wind. And if that's not awakening enough, man, I don't know what is, man. I don't know what is. But anywho, this is only a prediction and a prediction only, guys. Take all these videos Bruh. videos with a grain of salt and do your DD. Always do your DD. So, guys, that being said, as you guys just saw right now, we had a stock price, the Super Bowl price, 2600 bucks per share. And that's only including vehicles and FSD, nothing else. No Tesla bot, no energy, no Tesla insurance, no robo taxis, nothing. Thing. If you guys want to see the full package by 2030, including everything, check out this video. It's really interesting and I keep things as much realistic as possible. So check it out. You'll find it interesting. You won't be disappointed. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.